Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Selenium. What is Selenium? Selenium is an open source tool and portable framework that is used for automating the tests administered on web browsers. It is only used for testing web applications such as shopping carts, email programs like Gmail, Yahoo. Testing done using Selenium is often referred to as Selenium testing. Selenium is not just a single tool, as it is a collection of softwares, and each tool has different cases of testing. Selenium was introduced by Jason Huggins in 2004. Jason Huggins an engineer at ThoughtWorks. He was doing his work on some web application and he suddenly required testing. He realized that mundane manual testing used to identify bugs, issues, and defects in software of their application was turning to be more and more ineffective. He created a JavaScript program that would instinctively control the browser action. He named the program JavaScript Test Runner. He made JavaScript Test Runner as an open source that was later renamed as Selenium Core. Why Selenium is Popular Open source with a large community. Supports automation across multiple platforms like Windows, Macintosh, Linux, etc. Supports multiple browsers including Chrome, Firefox, IE, Safari, etc. Supports multiple programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby, C, etc. Supports multiple frameworks like Junit, TestNG, etc. Easy to integrate with CI tools like Jenkins, Docker, etc. Easy report generation. What are key Selenium features? Selenium is gaining popularity because of its insane features like Selenium supports multiple browsers Selenium supports multiple browsers like Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Opera, etc. One can launch any browser by just giving simple commands. Multiple programming languages support Selenium supports multiple programming languages for writing test scripts. It includes Java, Python, C, Perl, etc. Momentum speed and execution. There is no need for an intermediate server as Selenium directly conveys with the browser. Easy to identify and use web elements. Locators in WebDriver helps in finding the web elements in web applications. This advantage is very easy for testers to implement. Open source and portable. It is a major benefit that Selenium is open source and portable. Selenium can be downloaded from its official site. Works on different operating system. Selenium WebDriver scripts can work on different OS such as Linux, Mac, Chrome. Simple commands. Selenium has very simple commands to implement. It can be learnt easily. Server installation not required. Selenium WebDriver is not required to install a server, as it interacts directly with the browser. What are key components of Selenium Web Automation? Selenium has been in the industry for a long time and used by automation testers all around the globe. Let us check the four major components of Selenium. Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium WebDriver, Selenium Grid, Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE Integrated Development Environment is the major tool in the Selenium suite. It is a complete integrated development environment IDE for Selenium tests. It is implemented as a Firefox add-on and as a Chrome extension. It allows for recording, editing and debugging of functional tests. It was previously known as Selenium Recorder. Selenium IDE was originally created by Shinya Kasatani and donated to the Selenium project in 2006. Selenium IDE was previously little maintained. Selenium IDE began being actively maintained in 2018. Scripts may be automatically recorded and edited manually providing auto-completion support and the ability to move commands around quickly. Scripts are recorded in Selenese, a special test scripting language for Selenium. Selenese provides commands for performing actions in a browser click a link. Select an option and for retrieving data from the resulting pages. Selenium RC Remote Control Selenium Remote Control is a server, written in Java, that accepts commands for the browser via HTTP. 
RC makes it possible to write automated tests for a web application in any programming language, which allows for better integration of Selenium and existing unit test frameworks. To make writing tests easier, Selenium Project currently provides client drivers for PHP, Python, Ruby, .NET, Perl and Java. The Java driver can also be used with JavaScript via the Rhino engine. An instance of Selenium RC server is needed to launch HTML test case which means that the port should be different for each parallel run. However, for Java, PHP test case only one Selenium RC instance needs to be running continuously. Selenium WebDriver Selenium WebDriver is the successor to Selenium RC. Selenium WebDriver accepts commands sent in Selenese, or via a client API and sends them to a browser. This is implemented through a browser-specific browser driver, which sends commands to a browser and retrieves results. Most browser drivers actually launch and access a browser application such as Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, or Microsoft Edge. There is also an HTML unit browser driver, which simulates a browser using the headless browser HTML unit. Selenium WebDriver does not need a special server to execute tests. Instead, the WebDriver directly starts a browser instance and controls it. However, Selenium Grid can be used with WebDriver to execute tests on remote systems. Where possible, WebDriver uses native operating system level functionality rather than browser-based JavaScript commands to drive the browser. This bypasses problems with subtle differences between native and JavaScript commands, including security restrictions. Selenium Grid Selenium Grid is a server that allows tests to use web browser instances running on remote machines. With Selenium Grid, one server acts as the hub. Tests contact the hub to obtain access to browser instances. The hub has a list of servers that provide access to browser instances web driver nodes, and lets tests use these instances. Selenium Grid allows running tests in parallel on multiple machines and to manage different browser versions. Browser configuration centrally instead of in each individual test. The ability to run tests on remote browser instances is useful to spread the load of testing across several machines. To run tests in browsers running on different platforms or operating systems. The latter is particularly useful in cases where not all browsers to be used for testing can run on the same platform. What are Selenium Maven dependency? A Selenium project for test automation requires you to have all the dependencies associated with it. These dependencies can be downloaded and upgraded manually. However, as the project gets bigger, it can be quite challenging to manage these dependencies. This is why you need to have build automation tools to handle them automatically. Maven can easily handle the entire lifecycle of a project which can include code generation, compilation, testing, validation, packaging, and much more. It works in phases rather than tasks and makes the build management process much easier. Here are some key reasons to use Maven in Selenium. Provides a uniform system and simplifies the build process. Increases reusability. Includes a centralized repository to manage jar files. Handles dependency management compilation, distribution, and other tasks. Reduces extra steps like creating jar, war, ear files, building reports, or executing JUnit test cases. What are locators in Selenium? Overview of top 8 locators in Selenium. By CSS ID, find element by ID. By CSS class name, find element by class name. By name attribute, find element by name. By DOM structure or SPATH, find element by SPATH. By tag name, find element by tag name. By link text, find element by link text. By partial link text, find element by partial link text. By HTML tag name, find element by tag name. Locate elements by CSS ID. The CSS ID, stored in the ID attribute of an HTML DOM element, is unique for every element in the page by design. Thus, an ID can uniquely identify an element. To use this feature, one needs to call the find element by id method of the WebDriver class. Here is the usage for it as shown an image. If there is no DOM element with the ID that one is searching for, a no such element exception is raised, which one can account for, by using a try-catch block. Theoretically, every DOM element on a page should have a unique ID. However, in real life, one does not commonly observe this. 
most elements may not have an ID or encounter two elements with the same ID. In such cases, one needs to use a different strategy to identify a DOM element uniquely. Locate elements by CSS class. A second strategy for locating elements on a page is to search by the class name. The class name is stored in the class attribute of an HTML tag. By design, a CSS class applies to a group of DOM elements. The find element by class name method only returns the first element with the matching class. It raises a no such element exception if no element exists with the given class name. Here is how to use the method in the driver as shown in image. Locate elements by name. In HTML5, form elements often have a name attribute associated with them. The find element by name method only returns the first element with the matching class. If multiple elements of the same name exist, the first matched element will be returned. No matching elements result in a no such element exception error. Consider the form as shown in image A. The following code returns the email form element as per shown in image B. However, the following code only returns the first name form element as per shown in image C. Using the find element by name method, it is impossible to get to the last name input form field in the example. This brings us to the next locator. Locate elements by path. If one has failed to identify an element by ID, class, or name, one would need to locate the element through its XML path. This process may also be implemented while reading an XML document. In this tutorial, we explore the use of relative paths, as absolute paths are prone to errors with the slightest change in the HTML structure. We will use the find element by path method to locate an appropriate element in the document. The argument that the find element by path method takes is the path to the element. To find the email input field in the above HTML form example, use the code as per shown in image A. This code snippet searches for the first form element of the page. Within this form, it searches for input with the name, which equals the value email, thus narrowing down to the required element. Next, let us try to locate the form first and last name's input element above. The method first searches for a form with the ID login form and then selects the form first and second input elements as the first and last names. Locate elements by tag, name. One can locate elements by their HTML tag name using the find element by tag name method. Locate elements by link text. One can also search for a hyperlink element using the link text. One can either use the find element by link text method to search for the exact link text. Locate elements by partial link text. Or one can also search for a hyperlink element using the partial link text find element by partial link text method to search for a partial text. Locate multiple elements. In this tutorial, we have discussed methods that locate only single elements. One may want to select a group of elements and then iterate through them. The find elements method helps in finding multiple elements in the DOM structure. Here are typical examples of the usage of the find elements method. To find all input elements of a form with ID login form, use the snippet as per shown in image A. To locate all elements with a class name, use the code as per shown in image B. What is implicit weight? Implicit weight directs the Selenium web driver to wait for a certain measure of time before throwing an exception. Once this time is set, web driver will wait for the element before the exception occurs. Once the command is in place, implicit weight stays in place for the entire duration for which the browser is open. It is default setting is zero, and the specific wait time needs to be set by the following protocol. To add implicit weights in test scripts, import the following package as per shown in image A. Syntax as per shown in image A. Add the above code into the test script. It sets an implicit weight after the instantiation of web driver instance variable. What is explicit weight? By using the explicit weight command, the web driver is directed to wait until a certain condition occurs before proceeding with executing the code. Setting explicit weight is important in cases where there are certain elements that naturally take more time to load. If one sets an implicit weight command, then the browser will wait for the same time frame before loading every web element. This causes an unnecessary delay in executing the test script. Explicit weight is more intelligent, but can only be applied for specified elements. 
However, it is an improvement on implicit wait since it allows the program to pause for dynamically loaded AJAX elements. In order to declare explicit wait, one has to use expected conditions. To use explicit wait in test scripts, import the following packages into the script as per shown in image A. Then, initialize a wait object using WebDriver wait class as shown in image A. Here, the reference variable is named wait for the WebDriver wait class. It is instantiated using the WebDriver instance. The maximum wait time must be set for the execution to layoff. Note that the wait time is measured in seconds. What is difference between driver.close versus driver.quit? Selenium WebDriver provides two methods for closing a browser window driver.close and driver.quit. Some people incorrectly use them interchangeably but the two methods are different. In this post, we will study the difference between the two and also see where to use them effectively. Driver.close command. The driver.close command is used to close the current browser window having focus. In case there is only one browser open then calling driver.close quits the whole browser session. Usability. It is best to use driver.close when we are dealing with multiple browser tabs or windows. Like when we click on a link that opens another tab. In this case after performing required action in the new tab. If we want to close the tab we can call the driver.close method. Syntax is shown in image A. Driver.quit. The driver quit is used to quit the whole browser session along with all the associated browser windows, tabs and pop-ups. Usability. It is best to use driver.quit when we no longer want to interact with the driver object along with any associated window, tab or pop-up. Generally, it is one of the last statements of the automation scripts. In case, we are working with Selenium with test ng or junit. We call driver.quit in the adapter suite method of our suite. Thus, closing it at the end of the whole suite. Syntax is show in image B. When to use Selenium with headless browser. Headless browser testing is in fact faster. By providing great speed and efficiency but it fails to reach out for some specific features that are indeed fulfilled by a non-headless or real browsers. Headless browser has its own benefits while real browser has its own. As per the need for testing, one can choose whichever technique is preferable and beneficial to the tester. For example, in the case where there exists user involvement, real browser testing can be chosen. If there are no UI presentation requirements to perform the testing quickly, then one can go for headless browser testing. More efficient testing would be the one with a combination of both headless as well as real browser, thereby overcoming the limitations of each individually. What languages are supported by Selenium? Selenium RC was the flagship testing framework of the whole Selenium project for a long time. This is the first automated web testing tool that allows users to use a programming language they prefer. RC can support the following programming languages. Java, C++, PHP, Python, Perl, Ruby. Selenium interview questions. What is Selenium? Selenium is a robust test automation suite that is used for automating web-based applications. It supports multiple browsers, programming languages, and platforms. What are the different forms of Selenium? Selenium comes in four forms. Selenium Web Driver Selenium Web Driver is used to automate web applications by directly calling the browser native methods. The Selenium IDE plugin Selenium IDE is an open source test automation tool that works on record and playback principles. Selenium RC component. Selenium remote control is officially deprecated by Selenium and it used to work using JavaScript to automate web applications. Selenium grid. Allow Selenium tests to run in parallel across multiple machines. What are some advantages of Selenium? Following are the advantages of Selenium. Selenium is open source and free to use without any licensing cost. It supports multiple languages like Java, Ruby, Python, etc. Selenium supports multi-browser testing. It has vast resources and helping community over the internet. Using the Selenium IDE component, non-programmers can also write automation scripts. Using the Selenium grid component, distributed testing can be carried out on remote machines. What are some limitations of Selenium? Following are the limitations of Selenium. 
We cannot test desktop applications using Selenium. We cannot test web services using Selenium. Programming language knowledge is required for creating robust scripts in Selenium WebDriver. Also, we have to rely on external libraries and tools for performing tasks like logging log4j, testing framework, test ng, junit, reading from external files POI for Excels, etc. Which browsers or drivers are supported by Selenium WebDriver? Some commonly used browsers supported by Selenium are Google Chrome Chrome Driver Firefox Firefox Driver Internet Explorer Internet Explorer Driver Safari Safari Driver HTML Unit Headless Browser HTML Unit Driver Android Cell Android or Appium iOS iOS Driver or Appium Can we test APIs or web services using Selenium WebDriver? No. Selenium WebDriver uses the browser native method to automate web applications. So, there is no support for testing web services using Selenium Web Driver. What are the various ways of locating an element in Selenium? The different locators in Selenium are ID, XPath, CSS Selector, Class Name, Tag Name, Name, Link Text, Partial Link Text. How can we inspect the web element attributes in order to use them in different locators? In order to locate web elements, we can use the developer tool and plugins like Firebug. We can launch the developer tool by pressing F12 on the browser. Users can easily hover over any element and find its different HTML properties. Firebug is a plugin of Firefox that provides various development tools for debugging applications. From an automation perspective, we use Firebug specifically for inspecting web elements in order to find their attributes like ID, class, name, etc. in different locators. What is an XPath? XPath or XML path is a query language that is used for selecting nodes from XML documents. Also, it is one of the locators supported by Selenium WebDriver. What is an absolute XPath? An absolute XPath is a way of locating an element using an XML expression, beginning from the root node that is HTML node in the case of web pages. The main disadvantage of absolute XPath is that even if there is a slight change in the UI or any element, the whole XPath will fail. Thank you for watching this video. We provide Hansman training with Labs Homework Group Projects. Prepare you for the certification. Provide real projects. Internship opportunities. Support you in Resume LinkedIn. Staffing support. Provide tech references. In-person online class. Class retake options and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.